Hi Kinders, back for some math. We're going to be thinking about different kinds of shapes today. We're going to be thinking about edges. What shape is this? It's a circle. It has a curved edge. Curved edge. Can you draw a circle in the in the air with a curved edge? How about a circle on your hand? with a curved edge. Yeah, circles have curved edges. Triangles have straight edges. A rectangle has, let's find a rectangle, here's a rectangle. A rectangle has straight edges. It has four straight edges. Triangles have three straight edges. A circle has a curved edge. All right, in your work today, you're going to be looking at some very different kinds of shapes. And some will have straight edges, and some will have curves. And some will have both. And what you need to do is you're going to cut out your shapes and you're going to sort them. You're going to sort them and stick them. So let's, and I would do one at a time. So I'm going to cut out one and I'm going to go shapes. Oh, you know what will help me? I'm going to draw a curve up here and I'm going to draw shapes with a curve shapes without a curve. No curve. No curve, curve. Or I could even do it like this. No curve. Okay, let's start with a triangle. Curve or no curve? No curve. Let's do a circle. Curve or no curve? Definitely a curve. Now here is an oval. Is it called an ellipse? It might be an ellipse. Curve or no curve? Looks like a squish circle. It has a nice curve on it. Ooh, ooh. Let's try this one. Almost looks like a little face that's going to eat you. Um, it has some straight edges, but it has a curve. So does it go in the curve or no curve? It has a curve, so it goes in the curve. Here's another one. Curve or no curve? Look, lots of straight edges. I don't see any curved edges there. Let's put it in the no curve. And use your glue stick and stick them down. You have lots to do. That's kind of fun. This is very good for your hands to be doing some cutting work. And then some sorting. Curve, not curved. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you can see that. Curved is what I drew. Not curved. Okay. Now, there is more work to do today. I know, never enough time to do the work that we need to do. So I hope you did some triangles yesterday. Today, here's our other piece, and it might be hiding behind some other papers, so you're going to have to look for it. Draw a round pizza with your favorite toppings. Ooh, right with your crayons, show how you would cut the pizza for your family. Oh, this is fun. So I'm going to draw a round pizza. Curved edges. There's my pizza. And I'm going to, let's see, I should put some things on my pizza. What do you want on your pizza? I think I'm going to have some red sauce, because I like some red sauce. I like red sauce. This is kind of purpley. You might have better crayons than me. Tomato sauce. 
I am a pizza. Extra cheese. Here's my extra cheese. Brown tomatoes. Saucy squeeze. Oh, and in this song, they like onions and mushrooms. Let's do some onions and mushrooms. Oregano, oregano, that's sort of green stuff. I am a pizza, ready to go. How about some pepperoni? Maybe you like pepperoni. Maybe you like pineapple. You can put anything you like on your pizza. And when you're finished, you can draw this or use a ruler. Remember, rulers are great fun. Slice up your pizza for your family. Might be good to make an X. Ooh, if I make an X, we all get four pieces. That's kind of nice, but maybe we need extra. Maybe I'll need an extra line. Ooh, extra pieces. Ah, slice up your pizza. Ready to go. Don't drop it. <laughs> Keep it out of the oven, into the box. Don't have it upside down in the car. Be ready to eat it. All right. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.